Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about something that was added in the most recent version of Lightroom and that is Lightroom 13 or Lightroom Classic 13 and that is the cool new lens blur feature. So the lens blur feature basically uses AI to create a depth map and then blurs the image. So it's, it's kind of handy for things like portrait shots where you might have too much depth of field and you want to blur the background. But there's also another kind of cool trick you can do with this, and that is to recreate the faux tilt shift miniature effect that was popular a few years ago. In fact, it's probably quite a few years ago now. So, but anyway, previously you would do this by you could do it in Photoshop. Um, you'd have to draw a depth map by hand to do it properly, or some people just kind of cheated by just using a gradient map. But in the new Lightroom lens blur filter, this is actually super simple to do. So let me give you a couple of quick demos. So here I have a shot of um, New York City looking down from the Empire State Building. All we have to do is scroll down to the lens blur filter in the develop module and hit apply. So what this will do is this will analyze the image and it will give you a very basic blur. Now, as you can see, it takes a few seconds to kick in initially. But if you look over here on the lens blur panel, we have blur amount and then we have focal range. And here you can see, which is basically a depth histogram. So what we want to do is for this effect to work, what you need to do is you want to narrow this as much as possible. Like so. And we also want to turn up the blur amount. And this will vary from image to image, but in this case, I'm just going to set it to 100. So what I'm calling a depth histogram here, or a focal range to give it the correct name, allows you to control whereabouts your um, in focus area is. So think of this as like from front to back. And we want to aim for the Macy's logo here on the side of the building, which we pretty much nailed. Um, but if you want to, you can actually bring this forward. And back. Now this is slowing down slightly because I'm recording as well so it's actually it's not actually this slow normally. Um, the other thing you can do is you can use this tool here to click on an area of the image and have that be in focus but the problem with that is if I do it here say for example here is it actually resets the uh, amount of area that's actually in focus to which we don't want so I'm just going to reset that back to where we had it which was around here. So again, we can just tweak this slightly and get it in the right zone. I think that's not too bad. Okay, so there we have <laughs> our nice fake tilt shift miniature effect. So if I turn this off, there's our normal and turn it back on. And there is our tilt shift effect. Now, the weird thing with this filter is, and bear in mind, this is still um, what Adobe labels as early access is that it actually tints and changes the contrast um, of the image. So you can see it's kind of adding some green and blues here. So if I turn this off, you can see the color balance actually tilts or shifts slightly. <laughs> Tilt shift, get it? <laughs> Terrible joke. Um, but yeah, so that's that's basically how it works. So let me just show you on, an, on, on another image. Okay, so here is another example. In this case, we're looking kind of across um, the scene rather than down on it. and if I hit apply on the lens blur, okay, and give this a second. Okay, so what we do want to do again is just narrow down our range. And we want to get this like cluster of buildings in the middle here, kind of in focus. Okay, a little bit more narrower, and then up our blur. And there we have it. That is quite good as well. So there's before and there's after and there is our tiny little city. So um, one of the tricks that I, I used to do this for video um, quite a lot uh, for time lapses and stuff. And one of the other tricks you um, used to do with this was to kind of tweak the curves a bit to give it um, to just make it something more like this and um, kind of add it to the fake effect. Um, or to the miniature effect. I mean, so there we go. And if I turn this off, there's like the basic image. 
and there is our tilt shift effect. Okay, so one more. Um, I, I, this is one of my favorite ones. So this was taken from the top of the uh, Battersea Power Station um, and the new lift um, thing they have that goes up the chimney and gives you a good view of um, all of London. Uh, and this was looking back down towards the tube station. So again, we have a, a fairly straightforward, kind of boring image, but if we want to make this into a cool little miniature effect, and then if I just... Oh, I've lost the depth blur. <laughs> okay, here we go, lens blur. So I click apply. Again, give it a second to kick in. As I said earlier, this is the, it's because I'm screen recording slow on the stand. So again, we just drag our slider until we have, in this case, I want to get the people in. And again, we just narrow down the area that's in focus. And just tweak this slightly till we get the people in. Again, increase the blur a little bit. And we're just going to tweak the curves just a little bit more. You see, I've already tweaked them a little bit. Okay, so then before and after. And we have our cool little miniature effect. So there you have it. It's a fairly straightforward thing, and it's kind of one of those simple little things. And this effect was really popular maybe 10 years ago. Um, could be longer. I can't, I can't really remember now. Um, but it is kind of cool that you can now do this directly within Lightroom. Um, so yeah, so there you have it. A super quick tip on how to do a tilt shift miniature effect inside of Lightroom Classic 13. Um, I hope you have found this useful. If you do, please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See ya.